Crossing possibilities. Richarlison. And the referee allowing it. Can they forge ahead? If you guys want to kickstart your Foot 22 season off with an absolute bang, then make sure you guys do head over to aoeh.com for your cheap, fast, safe, and reliable Foot 22 coins. Make sure to use my code RB at checkout for 3% off. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another FIFA 22 video on the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you what is one of the most overpowered 20k teams in FIFA 22. If you're just starting out FIFA and you need a cheap, overpowered team, then this is definitely the one for you. I'll also be showing you some gameplay with the team tools that end at end the video as well so make sure you guys do stay tuned for the gameplay but yeah make sure to smash like on the video subscribe if you are new turn on post notifications and all that good stuff and let's waste no more time and let's get straight into the squad builder let's go all right guys so as you can see on your screens right now for this 20k team the formation you want to start off with is the 4-3-3 4 variation i do use a different formation in game so i'll show you what that is but if you like using this formation yourself then by all means go ahead and feel free to use this formation in game but i'll be showing you you know the custom tactics and the um formation i did switch to in game but we're going to start off with the goalkeeper guys we do have jordan pickford just a steady goalkeeper someone that gets a job done um a3 rated got decent diving good reflexes so yeah honestly he gets a job done and to be honest it doesn't really matter what keeper you use at this rate in FIFA keepers are so overpowered so yeah but yeah go ahead and pick up Pickford man he gets a job done very very nice goalkeeper indeed um in the left center back spot um not getting a link to Pickford all right getting a red link to Pickford but this guy is so overpowered he just is an absolute beast of a card he goes by the name of Pepe he got a crazy crazy pace boost and yeah the guy's just an absolute freak at the back six foot two pacey great defending stats just a center back I absolutely loved using um and then to partner up with him we do have Konza um I do like Konza as a cheap starter card because he's just very very pacey to be honest for a center back I mean 77 pace is always very nice to have on a center back some decent defending stats as well as you guys can see so I've just think overall he's a very very nice card to have that's why i have gone for ezri konsa so moving on into the left back position guys we do have sanusi um yeah sanusi in the center backs and uh, not center backs but the left back spot very very good card especially for the start of the game i mean 93 pace speaks for itself so yeah just go ahead and get this pace merchant he's absolutely fantastic especially for the start of the game now in the right back spot we do have federics um not federics fredericks from west ham again another pace merchant in the fullback position stuff that you really do love to see um you know these are the kind of fullbacks you definitely want to be using in the game so yeah go ahead and pick up ryan federicks definitely will get the job done for you guys now we'll move on into the midfield and the attack so we're going to start with the right center mid position we do have thomas Partey. um arsenal fans getting really gassed at the moment you know because thomas Partey, they want to party hard <laughs> Um, but yeah, Thomas Partey, honestly, he will make you want to party, all right? Excuse the pun, but you know, this guy's actually fantastic, man. I really, really do. I did, when I was using him, I actually did enjoy using him. I think he's a very, very good, well rounded card. Um, yeah, his finishing is not even that bad, but what I like about him is the fact that he's, he's actually quite tall, but he can actually dribble. He's six foot one, but his dribbling, his agility is actually not too bad at all. And obviously, in terms of defending, he is fantastic. So, I just think overall, he's a really, really good card to have, especially at the start of FIFA. But we move on into the left center mid position where we do have Pizzi, um, not Pizza, Pizzi. Uh, yeah, this guy again i like him he's gonna partner up next to thomas Partey in the midfield he's gonna have more of the license to go forward though because yes he's okay at defending you can see his defending is not the greatest but it's not the worst um but the main aspect of his game is to go forward so Partey will be the one you know that sits there you know stays back pc will be the one that kind of has that license to go forward having that like box to box sort of role so yeah i do like pc though really really nice card uh to begin with so yeah make sure you guys do go ahead and pick him up now in the cam position we do have a player that won't be playing cam in game but he's just here for the cam he goes by the name of richarlison richarlison um yeah go ahead and pick up richarlison really really nice card i like him a lot five star weak foot four star skill moves you can't really complain when you hear those stats so yeah go ahead and pick him up and again in game i like him uh, he, did, he, he just gets a job done, to be honest with you, man. He does what he needs to do. And um, in the left wing spot, we actually do have a player that plays... No, that has the name of the club that Richarlison plays for. He goes by the name of Everton. 
Um, and he's Brazilian as well, so I guess Richarlison and this guy will be best friends in a team. Yes, friends. Um, but yeah, we do have 80 rated Everton in the left wing spot. Really, really nice uh, card, especially to begin with as well. Good starter card, great agility, dribbling, ball control, decent finishing and pace, four star skill moves, things you love to see. You cannot complain. So go ahead and pick him up. Now in the striker spot, we do have the one and only, the man himself, Gabriel Jesus. Um, yeah, a lot of people are, seem to be using this card. A lot of people seem to be enjoying playing with this card at the moment. So, yeah, definitely recommend that you guys do go ahead and pick up Gabriel Jesus, man. He will get the job done. He will score a ton of goals. Four-star skill moves, great finishing, great agility, balance, dribbling, ball control. Just things you love to see. So, go ahead and pick him up. Now, into the right wing position we do have another brazilian in the team and he goes by the name of rafinha and this guy's got an absolutely just crazy crazy good left foot on him honestly cut inside and just finesse it top bins that's all you have to do when you use rafinha this guy has got a crazy shot on him man honestly his left foot is dangerous um so yeah just go ahead and pick him up great dribbling great ball control decent finishing but in game it feels a lot better and of course he's put he's pacey as well four star skill moves four star weak foot you can't complain man this card is crazy but as you guys can see this team here will only cost you around 20k it's absolutely fantastic you guys will see the gameplay as well of me playing with the team i don't have the team anymore uh, because i've got a more expensive team now but i did use this team when i had you know 20k and it worked for me like a charm so um yeah basically this is the team now what i'm going to show you guys quickly is the formation um to use in game but before i go into that make sure you convert richarlison to a center forward so he doesn't get full chemistry all right that's just one thing i want to quickly clear up now in terms of you know the custom tactics and the formation change i'll start with the formation change what you guys want to do is use the four triple two that's the formation i use in the highlights it worked for me um so obviously i'm gonna recommend it to you guys as well and this is how you want to set it up basically so what you want to do is have uh, in-game like this pretty much. So uh, Jesus, Richarlison up top, Rafinha on the right, Everton on the left, and then Partey and Pizzi as the two DMs and then the back line, as you can see on screen. These are the custom tactics currently that I recommend you use with this team. So as you can see, a relatively high depth, 57 with 44, balanced defensive style, build up, play fast, um, build up and then possession and, and then around 50 width with like seven players in the box. So yeah, they're the custom tactics that you guys do want to use for this team. Um, it works well and you guys will see that in the highlights. So yeah, nonetheless, let me know what you think of the team. I hope you guys do end up enjoying the highlights. Make sure you watch the highlights as well. Smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. And I will catch you in the next video. But until then, enjoy the highlights. He's seen a creative look about this. Gabriel Jesus! He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of Nicely cut out. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Crossing possibilities. Richardless on. And the referee allowing it. Can they forge ahead? And there and slot it home. Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he's what it is. And he's through here. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Disappointing pass. Here's how it looks for the comics. David Ospina begins in goal. Kadidou Koulibaly plays alongside Kostas Manolas in the centre of the fence. Riyad Mahrez plays with Alan San Maxima in the wide area. Oh, can he finish it, Derek? A goal here, giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he just. 